Hi everyone, thanks for watching this video. Today I want to talk a little bit about a question that came up with one of my customers. It's a little bit of a controversial issue and there's a, a large misconception out there in the marketplace. So my customer recently came to me and they, they asked me, uh, can, can my Mac get a virus and what antivirus software should I get for my Mac? Well, first of all, I want to talk a little bit of, about this subject. Um, maybe in the past on OS 9 there had been some virus threats, some actual programs that were found to had uh, previously existed on a Mac. Um, with OS 10 there are there's zero. There's none. Uh, there have been none found. No one has ever found a Mac and there are a virus on a Mac and there are currently none that are even in existence. So that's why the first reason your Mac can't get a virus. I'm not saying that it never can. I'm not saying that they won't in the future, I'm simply saying that there aren't any known viruses out there, so there are no, no known threats. Therefore, you really don't need to get an antivirus software. We'll, we'll, we'll talk a little bit of, uh, about why here. First and foremost, Apple, and I don't think anybody would dispute this, Apple builds some of the best well-built machines out there in the marketplace. Uh, they design their operating system to work proprietary to their machines. You can't take Mac OS so software, their operating system, and get it to work on any other kind of a computer platform. I know people are going to dispute that and say there's a Hackintosh way. It's really half-assed. It doesn't run the same that it does on a Mac. So Apple, they developed their system to work proprietary to their machines. That's first and foremost. Secondly, their operating system has a completely different infrastructure than that of Windows. The kernel is totally different. Mac is really related in the family tree to Unix or to Linux. And everybody that's an IT or into computers really knows how solid and stable those platforms are and how those platforms are also not susceptible to viruses. So with Mac, they lock down a lot of the really important and essential components to your operating system. So you as a typical user, you can't even find vital components in, the, in your actual operating system, make changes, delete files inadvertently. All those are hidden, all of them are locked down, and unless you're an, an Apple Macintosh technician or you're Apple certified or you're just a really good computer technician, uh, you can't get access to those. Only only technicians can and only technicians know how. Well, with Windows, it's a little bit different. We'll talk about that in a second as well. Mac also uses a, a different platform for their application permissions. All their files are self-contained files. They don't have a registry component the way that Windows does. So with Windows, the reason, one of the biggest reasons why they get viruses is because, and this is the way I like to explain it to my customers, Mac makes their operating system proprietary to their system. A lot of the features are locked down. Therefore, it's harder to design a virus that can infiltrate and harm your operating system. With Windows, Windows makes only software. They don't make hardware, and they allow their software to work on multiple platforms. You can even put Windows on a Mac. So they use, they use Windows for HP, for Dell, for Lenovo, for Asus, et cetera, et cetera. Because of that, there is some level of customization that has to be allowed here. Different drivers, different uh, file components in order for things to work. Again, Macs don't use those. Because of that reason, there are exploits and vulnerabilities within the Windows operating system that happen every single day. And that's why there is a need for an antivirus software. Apple is very good at creating these patches and these fixes and they do it all the time. So there have been exploits to the operating system, not necessarily a virus, but then Apple fixes them right away. So even if a virus were to come out and were to affect the Mac and it were, were to be known to the world, Apple would fix a patch in order to correct that issue. In order to correct that issue. And it's a lot harder on Windows. Windows uses what's called a, a registry component, and essentially it's the backbone or the nucleus of that operating system. Now the registry component, it logs everything into the system. So when you install an application, that applica application actually installs itself into the registry in order for the operating system to know that it's there and in order for it to function properly. Well, a virus essentially is a program. 
It's a program that's designed to do something specific to a machine. It's, it can either corrupt files, it can shut systems down. So it acts just like an application when you install it. Well, with Mac, at, like I mentioned, they're all self-contained files. So if you were to install a virus on a Mac, it's just going to sit there in its own little world and its own little self-contained file. If you install it on a Windows machine, that application or the virus is actually going to copy itself into the registry. And that's where the, the harm begins on a PC component. If you were to go into your Windows system and inadvertently access your registry and make changes to that registry, you are making changes to your operating system in real time. There is no save changes button. There is no click undo. Whatever you just did, that just happened. So if you think about it, once a virus, which is programmed to, to get into the registry and corrupt files on your operating system, as soon as it gets into your registry, it immediately is causing harm to your system. And again, on a Mac, there is no registry component. That's why it's so hard for a virus to affect a system. And again, I'm not saying that there won't ever be in the future. I'm just saying that as of right now, there are no viruses that can affect a Mac. Therefore, you do not need to get an antivirus software. Another reason is, you know, people and Windows, because of their level of customization, they leave a lot of very proprietary operating system files easily available. I actually have had customers that have downloaded a virus that think they know what they're doing, that go into, you know, program files, my32, the system folder, and they just start deleting things. This file looks suspicious, and they go out there and then delete it, and then their operating system doesn't run, and you have to reinstall it. You can't do that, as again, I mentioned on a Mac. That's why, again, it, it's so hard for a virus to get on a Mac. Uh, you don't need antivirus software. It's just a waste of money. It will actually make your system run slower. And I actually have found a few that will harm your system. There's one out there called Mac Keeper. It actually causes more problems than it, than it helps or than it advertises to help. Uh, they are even known for delivering you false reading reports monthly so that way you feel that it's actually doing something for your system. Um, you, you, you can't get it on, on a Mac. You can on a PC. I, we went through all of this. If, if you have any questions, please let me know. If there are any other tutorial videos that you guys are interested in, also let me know as I'm, I'm doing a lot of uh, training courses right now that I'll be getting on YouTube so you guys can learn about the different networking, the different Windows components, as well as a whole bunch of, of Mac stuff, Mac repair and iOS stuff. Thanks for watching. Please like this video. Please share it. We'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks again for watching.